My name is Mrs. Ki Sanata. I'm Aziz's mother. Um, I can say that he's born for <laughs> to play football. You know, Aziz started very young when he was very, very young at five years old. You know, even as a baby, you know, we have one famous, uh, I think he's playing football, uh, one famous guy is from Tunis. His name is Aziz Budelbala. And then his father used to call him, since this baby, Aziz Budelbala, Aziz Budelbala. I think is that's why he called, he gave him the name Aziz. No, the name Aziz coming from this guy, the famous guy uh, who playing football, but he's from Tunisia. So the this you know the young boy you know grew with this spirit, and his father was a very big fan of football. So uh, he grew with this spirit at five years old, as he was like, you know, playing with soccer and all those things. When he got like seven, eight, you know, early in the morning when he woke up, it's, you know we have a small stadium, he just go. Early in the morning, six o'clock, you look for Aziz. Where is Aziz? Oh, he went to the stadium. Ah, he didn't have, he didn't even have breakfast. He go to the stadium playing soccer, and then people starting, you know, know him with his talent. And uh, so at the same time, he was going to school. You know, he was going to school, and then one day he decided to say, "Mom, I mean, he hired it for me." When he sometimes he's go to school and sometimes he doesn't go to school. And one day, you know, I realized that, you know, he doesn't go to school, like really. And I asked him, he said, no, you know, after the primary school, the secondary school, he did the first year and then the second year, he said, he want to stop, he want to play football. How come? I said, but you look at you. Football and school, you know, it goes together. Then you have to go to school and then you play. He said, no, mom. I want to go to, to I want to play football. I don't want to, to go to school anymore. I said, how are you going to read your contract? How are you going to, you know, to have a good interview and also you have to go to school? He said, no. I said, okay. And then I get upset of him. I just forgot about him because, you know, as mama, I have a lot of issues to deal with. And then he was like training himself with I mean, you know, in uh, in our course, we have some people who train, you know, the small boys. Uh, so he got his, himself, those people. So he was training himself. And after they come to me, oh, mom, your boy is very good, but we want to, to have him with us. But for him to, you know, to, to be with this uh, club or school, you have to pay this, you have to pay this every single month. I said, okay, no problem. He said he doesn't want to go to school, but if you want to do this, then I will pay. So even single, uh, every single month, I will pay some amount, you know, something simple. And sometimes when he needs shoes, he tells, me, he tells me, mom, I need this. When he needs, you know, some, you know. And then I write so much. So the story for as he start like this with these people. And when he gets 15 years old, you know, some people come from Europe, you know, to see like a good player in Africa. And some some people saw him already, and then at 15 years old, uh, but he was young. He's supposed to have 18 years old before to go to Europe. And then, you know, the guys, some fake agent, very bad people. <laughs> They came to me, oh, we'll increase his, you know, his age, we'll increase his age, and then your son will go uh, for, you know, for us to have money, because if they give us it to this guy, they still have money. But this time, me, I was not like too into it of those uh, football story, and then I was not aware of so many things. But they play with my son as they want, you know, they get a lot of money on him. Then I, I, I refused at that time. And then two years after, another one came from Spain. And at 17 years old, he went to, to Spain to play with Rayo Vallecano. Then he spent like one year there. 
And then uh, they decided to to sell him to another club. So he went to, you know, France. He went to Dijon, he went to Saint-Étienne to be tried. People was okay with him. But you know, guys, they always request, you know, the big amount of, you know, money. And uh, the club said, oh yeah, the boy is good, but we cannot afford this money. And then they was always looking for, uh, I mean, one club will pay them a lot of money. Then uh, I think they find one club in Cyprus, uh, Owonia Nikosi. They sent him there because they was ready to pay this amount to, to them, for, to, for them to let Aziz play with them. Finally, Aziz went there. I think he spent uh, like almost two years over there. And you know, the visibility in the Cyprus League is not like, you know, so for him to 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 have chance to play in uh, the, the Europa League, it was very difficult for him. Then I finally decided, he finally decided to come back home. So he come home, but when he come back home, he went through to uh, the first club where he was playing before I said, to see him over there and go to, you know, pick him there to play with Isaac. So while playing with Isaac, with the two good seasons that he did, then Yanga fell in love with him and then he's finally here in Tanzania. So this is the story of Aziz. Uh, the story is, you know, there is many ways, but, you know, let's put everything in one. This is the story. Yeah. Oh, you know, uh, at when Aziz um, was ready to, when the contract was coming to the hand with uh, Asek Mimosa, you know, as a good player, I think, you know, for the visibility to, I think there is like four clubs we were, you know, running after him. One in uh, Egypt, yeah, one in Morocco, and two here in uh, in Tanzania. Yes, uh, first of all, he wanted to go to Egypt yeah, because he wanted to be seen by people of, of Qatar because he wanted to play in Qatar. This is his wish, you know, after he said, it's true, I'm playing football, but now at the hands, I need to play football for money for the technical issue, but also at the hand for money, you know, I won't spend all my time playing football, like, you know, for nothing. And then he wanted to go to Egypt. That was his first wish. And after, I think, um, Mr. Said Ersi went to meet him in Morocco. He said he's traveled through, from here to Morocco to talk with Aziz. But for him, he cannot like sign a contract like this because every single contract that he has to sign, I have to see and discuss with people and if it's good or not, then we decide. But this doesn't make us uh, sign with Young. The thing is, after you know, watching every single contract, we know that you know these Arabic people sometimes thing is very difficult with them. You know, when we want there, also some are very racist. In sometimes they will let you play, sometimes no, and then we say no. We are not at this stage anymore. If you went to one club, you had to play and then show the best of yourself. Then we decided to put at the side the two uh, clubs from Morocco and from Egypt. Then it remained two, Yanga and Simba. But as he come here with a second, he played with Simba. The way I think Simba people played, he said he doesn't like it. And he, he was watching the way the people of Yanga played. Technically, he was like, okay with that. And after that, also, we, we have to review the contract. What I said is, I said, it's not about money. It's, it's about money you should have choose, you know, should have chosen another club, but it's about his visibility and it's about his career. It's about also 
uh, the way he played football, he had to find one club who helped him to, you know, to be comfortable while playing. You know, finally we decided to to choose younger because younger was like even he was not the best proposition financially talking, but he was like the best team for him to, you know, to grow.